Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Siri Love Drive here, and today I'm playing Entropia Universe. What we're going to be doing today is we are going to be answering the age-old question of is tree cutting profitable? Now, how am I going to be answering that question, you guys might be asking? Well, I have been actually spending a few of my hard-earned PEDs and my much-coveted time cutting down trees. That's right, in Entropia Universe, while watching a few television shows, I've been going out with this bad boy and cutting down trees. Now, I haven't just been using one of these. I've actually used about 10 tree cutters, or what are these called? TerraTech PH1s. I've used about 10 of them, which is 50 PEDs worth, to go out, cut down some trees, and see just how many PEDs and just how much loot I got back. So what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be using up the last of my tree cutting, sort of, my tree cutting TT value. So I'm going to be spending 42 PECs cutting down a tree, and then we're going to discuss just how much wood and, um, I want to say dust, it's not dust, and cuttings or um, shavings, how much wood and how, many, how much wood shavings I got, and just what that's worth. Also worth noting is that when you are doing this, you are getting a ton of skills. Like, literally, tree cutting is probably one of the best ways to get skills after a new player's gotten a couple levels on, you know, they're all the basic sort of TT weapons, right? And it is a great way to actually get like a good amount of skill. So the real question here is just how long can you last if all you do is go out and cut trees? I've heard a lot of players talking about this and a lot of players have said if you go cut down trees, it's almost a guaranteed way to make money. I don't know if I believe it, but we're going to we're going to total everything up and just see where it comes in. I have not run these totals before. So just for those of you guys wondering, this is going to be a this is an experiment for me too. I want to just see where this comes in. I've got all my uh, moon leaf boards and my wood shavings stored in my storage. So all we're gonna have to do is go up there and we can just total everything up and see where we stand. For those of you guys wondering too, this is actually a great area to come if you're looking to cut down trees. It's called Cape Corneth. There's a few other good areas on Entropia Universe, but the people who showed me those areas begged me not to show them to you guys. So I'm, I'm gonna hold off and not show it because there's really, there's no advantage to it. It's just saving time, right? Like. These areas, so the way tree cutting works is basically these trees spawn every so often. If you go to an area, you cut down all the trees, you've got to wait X number of minutes until the trees can respawn, right? So if you find an area where not many people have gone and cut down trees, you can like pretty much go there every time you log in and get a good amount of skills just by running through it. So it's going to take you 5, 10 minutes and you're probably going to get, you know, maybe 25 to 100 skills, which is a really good sort of time to skill ratio. If you guys want to do the math on that, that's pretty good. And you can see here, like I'm, I've got quite a few skills, right? I've got 73k skills. And I'm still getting like one one skill gain, one piece of experience per pull here, which is a really good ratio. Um, 0.98 on resource gathering, and resource gathering is a profession that's going to be coming in handy because that's um, yeah, it's a good it's a good profession to have, right? Am I? Oh, there we go. All right, the item is damaged, so we've officially run through this whole thing, right? This whole. Um, the whole TT of this Terra Tech. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to storage and total everything up. And for those of you guys wondering, yes, I actually do have all of the decayed Terra Tech um, PH1s in my storage. A lot of people have recently, it seems like they get a kick out of calling me out and saying what I'm saying is bullshit. So I figured I'm gonna give you guys as much proof as I can. And one way of doing that is just to show you guys all the scanners. So here you go, you have my current TerraTech scanner. That's number one. These are, this is everything I've gotten from them, by the way. And then if you go down here, you can see I've got a nice lineup of five scanners in this row, four in this. So if we dump this in, that's five, making the total 10. If you look at the value of each scanner, or each uh, TerraTech, each harvester, they're worth five PEDs each, which means we spent 50 PEDs total during this whole sort of operation or this whole skilling experience. So now when we combine everything and put it into the TT, what we're gonna get is the total amount of resources that we've managed to gather. So if you look at this, we've gathered 44.13 PEDs worth of resources. There's a small markup on this stuff, but right now that markup is literally just like nothing. 
Um, so basically, this is probably just TT fodder, which means we got 44.31 PEDs back and we spent 50 PEDs, meaning that we lost about six PEDs over this whole experience. Now, a few things to remember about this is even though that we lost PEDs, we did get quite a few skills. In my opinion, the thousands and thousands of skills that I gained cutting down trees is well worth the six PEDs that I lost. Because if I went to get those in pretty much any other way, I'd either be spending a lot more time to get them or I'd be losing a lot more money. This is a really good return for me. I'm very happy with it. And I just wanted to share it with you because it's one of those ways that a lot of newbies don't know about, right? This is super easy way to get skills after you've gone out, shot your Apollo a bit. Maybe you're just tired, you just like skilling, or you just want to watch some TV and sort of mindlessly grind in the background without having to worry about did you get a claim, did you shoot something, blah, blah, blah. You can just go to the trade terminal. You go down to, not miscellaneous, you go down to tools. You go to Terratech PH1, and all you got to do is buy. And now you've got your five PED tree cutter and you can go out and cut trees to your heart's content. So yeah, for those of you guys wondering, that that's it. That's, that's all I've got for this video. Um, there's nothing else to it. It's a pretty simple video, a pretty simple concept. I just wanted to let you guys know that it exists and that it is a thing. So yeah, get out to tree cutting and um, I guess I'll see you at Cape Corner. Or maybe not because maybe I've got a better area. Actually, I don't. This is a really good area, but it's... Um, it tends to happen after I make these videos that a lot of people come to it and then nobody gets to cut down trees and Serial Loher Drive gets blamed for it. Um, so I don't want to get blamed for ruining another area, but it's been a good it's been a good six months, maybe a year since I made the last video, so it's about time that I ruin this area again. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you have questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to post them down below. And if you're a hater, you can hit the unsubscribe button because I'm fine with it. Until next time, peace.